Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of I'm Raf Raf. Today I'm going to show you guys why I use a multi-camera live streamer to convert old tapes like these. Now, multi-camera live streamers weren't really made to convert tapes and you might be wondering why would I use something like this for old tapes? Isn't this meant for multi-camera live stream kind of work? And the reason why is because it solves three major problems that are associated when we convert old video tapes using the computer. And those three things are the capture device, the graphics card, and the software. Now, the first reason why the capture device is because sometimes um, you have capture devices that are not compatible with the computer, and that makes capture impossible. Now, the second reason is graphics card. I noticed that when I use the MacBook Air, which has an internal graphics card, and when I convert tapes using OBS, um, the footage is quite jerky because it still has to process the um, the video to from analog to digital and but when I use it with a desktop or with a computer with a dedicated graphics card I find that the footage is a lot smoother now the third one is software and software sometimes you can have issues you can have problems with it especially when uh, when the software is not set up properly so when when you have this it bypasses all that problem but this will set you back a few hundred dollars um, so if you are going to get this, it would be that you want to either use it for live streaming purposes, multi-camera work, or if you do run like a uh, tapes conversion business, because all you need to do is just press record and wait for, wait for the tapes to finish converting. Now one of the easiest ways to get started with uh, this tape conversion setup is to get yourself the Atom Mini Pro because the non-pro version doesn't have the record button over here. And the next thing that you want to get yourself is a hard drive that is uh, USB-C. If you don't have a USB-C hard drive, uh, you can use your, your previous hard drive, but you need to get yourself a USB uh, cable that fits into your old hard drive so that you can also uh, record it straight into the other hard drive. Now, you will probably need to get yourself a converter, so S-Video or RCA converter to HDMI. If you can get the S-Video ones, that means your resolution will be a lot higher. Now, there are limitations in using the uh, Atom Mini Pro, and most footages that are recorded in the Atom Mini Pro would look 16x9 instead of 4x3, but most of my clients don't have problem with that. I don't have issues with my own tapes going 16x9 either. And once you're ready, all you need to do is set the recording function and the, rec the recording format that you want to record in with your laptop. You can either connect the laptop to your Atom Mini Pro through the USB uh, connection or you can connect it to the Wi-Fi while the Atom Mini Pro is connected via LAN cable into your router. Now once that's all set up, you just have to press play on your camera and record on the Atom Mini Pro. And once you're done, you just have to press stop and that's it. So it's really simple um, and you get to see the live preview of what's being recorded on, uh, on a separate monitor. So I think this setup really helps people if you really want to do like a tapes conversion business and you're looking at something that will bypass all the hardware issues, you don't even need a computer, then yeah, get yourself the Atom Mini Pro. And if you want to do live stream as well, it helps a lot. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If it has been useful, I hope you guys could subscribe and like it so that it will help support this channel to grow. And yes, I'll see you guys again in the next video.